G'day, Dave Ellis here in Tahunanui Beach in Nelson. So what we're going to do today with these young fellas is we're just going to put them through some basic evasive skills. Um, we have a mixture of forwards and backs, uh, so we'll kind of address both different lots of skill sets that are required for their positions. So we're going to do some evasion today, forwards, backs. It's a lot of the case with the big guys. At school, when you're, when you're, when you're a big fella, coach will just tell you you run straight. Yeah, just run over them, you know. But as you develop and as you get further in your, in your rugby, you'll realise that, Jingos, there's a fellow on the other side of the team, he's as big as me as well. Okay, so you need to start being a bit smarter. And my suggestion is the younger you can start at this, the better. Because you're blessed with size now, mate. Okay, what we want to give you is the gift of footwork. Okay, because that's when you start real territory. Um, if you have a look at professional rugby, you do see still a lot of guys T-boning, as they call it, running straight in. But the more successful guys, the guys that have a little bit of footwork, they're the guys that we want. Why is it important for that footwork to get up? What's, what's so important about that, especially for the attack? Can get on his outside. Can get on his outside, which gives us a chance of going where? Forward. Forward. So that's our attack, hey, we want to go forward. Okay. Whatever we do, we want to go forward. So bad guys in defence, they're thinking the same thing. They want to go forward and stop you. Okay, so we need to make sure that we can always go forward. And that's, yeah, attacking that weak side, keeping our feet operated. Okay, so we're all going to do this. So forgive me back so you'll find this fairly easy. Okay, but I want you to just really give it a bit of thought and we'll, we'll put a little bit of pressure on you. So all I want you to do is you're going to start by the green cone here and you're going to run towards me, I'll just say red or yellow. That's, all, that's where we're starting. Okay, so I can get a, an idea of how you guys travel. Okay, we'll go yellow, wait, go. Cool. Cool. Awesome, Robbie. Uh, red. Cool. Red. Yellow. And the initial activity with the two-step, that's the motion often used. I use it with the big boys, usually our forward carriers and promoting the, the idea that the big guys stay looking for space instead of T-boning their opposition. It's all about keeping their feet under them, attacking a weak shoulder, and then having the momentum to carry themselves through the space that they're looking for. Not going to say another word for a minute, I'm going to let you guys have a little bit more. So uh, Rob, you want to just stand up mate, like you're the first guy? Yep. Next guy up, same thing, just have those cones just behind your heels there fellas. Red. Red. Good. Yellow. Red. Cool. Okay, Robbie, I'm going to put you on the red this time. Okay, red. Did you have to think about that a little bit harder than before? Yellow. Red. So why, why did I put these things here? Make sure you them over. Yeah, how would our foot knock them over? We're not going forward. Yeah, so we, we do one of these things before we go, okay? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get you into this situation. So if I, if I go yellow, for example, I still want to go forward. So Sebastian, in your case, your, your, your first step's here, okay? So I want you to try and work, boys, and your first step is in here, okay? And your second step is there. The, whatever foot you put down by the cone, that's your accelerator pedal okay that's your gas pedal okay the other thing here um rob i'll use you mate so just just go this yellow one but there do, do a second step boom now do another step stop okay there if we're if we dance around a bit and this sometimes happens if we if we dance about here see how robbie wants to go that way i'm the defender if i get into here lift that back foot up to go through to go through me so you just get in that situation, they're trying, go through me, go through me, go through me, go, see how hard it is? Yeah. It's difficult, eh? But now, now swip it around, so put your power foot down on the ground, your gas foot, find the space, then power foot by the yellow, boom, okay. Now if I hit Rob, boom, and he wants to power through me, he's free, that other leg is free, to get him through that space and drive him through that space. Okay, so we don't want to get jammed up with being hit here. Make sense, fellas? Okay, my power foot is down. He can hit me with the he can hit me with the kitchen sink on this side. Okay, as long as I'm powerful enough to drive this leg through. And then where am I going? Straight through here. Hands up the backs. What don't we like? What about the forwards carrying in pods? If they run where? If they run sideways, what does that do to the backs? Yeah, takes you out of space. 
Okay, so we want to keep that space on the edge. Okay, we, if we start running sideways, we're going to eat up that space. Okay, so it's a real, real issue about getting ourselves through here. So let's have a crack at that, fellas. So I want us to making sure that, and I'll start you in a little bit of the old pitter patter this time, like we did the other day, but, and I'll go yellow, bang, bang, and it's that gas foot. Okay, gas foot. So now we'll just pick up the pace. All good? Pitter patter, red. Watch out for that backward step, guys. Get your body weight forward, pitter patter, go yellow. Pitter patter, go yellow. Pitter patter, go red. Pitter patter, go red. I fooled you a bit on that red, mate. Pitter patter, go yellow. Better. Pitter patter, go red. Oh, back foot, back foot. Pitter patter, go yellow. Pitter patter, go red. <laughs> Pitter patter, go yellow. Pitter patter, go red. Last one, yellow. Cool. So much better guys. It's really, it's not easy as you think, eh? Yeah. You know, what will help us if we remember we talked about that tackling position and that passing position. So that fighter's pose sort of thing. Being over the ball, having our weight slightly forward, we can move. Okay. Sitting up upright, stepping back like that, we're, we're weak. Okay, so it makes it harder for us to do that. Can you just come in here, Seb, first? And I want, just want you to do a slow yellow one for me, okay? Boom, boom, yeah, okay, and that's cool. So what, what the biggest issue that we will have here, you're pretty good at it, mate, but it's, it's this hip here, not getting around. Okay, so it's, it's so easy for us to step to there, we're quite comfortable, and our next step, we go out through this space, okay? So it's real, really got to concentrate on, we come out through here, we come out through here, that you get that next hip round and drag through there. Where would we use this sort of footwork in a game? Yeah, definitely in pod work, eh? Definitely pod work, yeah. Mismatch, yeah, mismatch, yeah. You, you speedy guys against maybe a slower dude. Yep. Usually we see, see this sort of footwork done. So somebody's there with a the green thing is, and they do all that footwork and I'm here. Means nothing. Okay, that footwork needs to be done here. So I'm the defender here. Boom, that footwork needs to be done in this space. Not, not a long way back. Okay, but this is a big work on, mate. This is your everyday thing. Any ball carrying forward, this is your everyday thing. This is what you do warm up to a match. You find a goal post, three cones, and just get in front of the goal post and you just warm yourself up. Maybe getting somebody to throw you a ball or something, but work on that. For a lot of the teams I've worked, professional teams worked in, there's usually a couple of big guys come over with me and we chuck them by the goal posts and that's what they'll do before the game. Okay, so it's worth doing and worth emphasizing. Okay, that's your own little personal work, walk up, warm up. So does your coaches give you like, 15 minutes, okay boys, do your own thing and then come in later on and we'll do some fancy stuff. Yeah, so in the, those are the sort of things you want to do in those couple of minutes you have for it.